everyone and welcome to Rockin' Rabbits. Um, today we're going to be doing a cage tour or um, pen tour. She doesn't necessarily have like a cage, like a condo or a hutch or anything like that. Um, right now we're in her playpen-ish area. Um, we did, my boyfriend made it out of cardboard because he got a giant cardboard box from work. So we kind of cut it up and we have some windows in here. Though we had to use a NIC grid to make a window because like she, <laughs> hi, because she can jump through. It was like a three inch by four inch little window and she fit her body through it. Like she's not small. She's probably about like a six pound rabbit five at the smallest. Hi baby. And she fit through there like a cat, so. <laughs> then we have another one over here too, so she, that way she can see us in our dining area. It's a little messy, so I'm not gonna show you too much of that. Um, and we do have like boxes that have like this, it's not like plain, but she doesn't chew on things. So she seems to be pretty good about that. She doesn't like, People, you guys probably noticed that there is like a rubberish thing over the rug, but again, she doesn't chew on like anything. Like she doesn't, the only thing she chews on is like that stuffed rabbit when she's kind of doing she does stuff to it. She's not spayed right now. Gets spayed next Wednesday, so that'll be another video, another first vet visit video. Um, but we do have uh, this little Heidi house here. It's got a couple entrances on there. Um, and then you do have the tunnel system, which leads all the way to the back, which goes all the way to her pen. Um, this was our linen closet. Um, it was a pretty big closet. There's still some stuff in there, like that, but I keep, like, her hay. There's some Timothy hay. But I kind of had a slight allergy to it, so it's really just used as emergency hay right now. Um, but it, it, either way, it is both Oxbow. I use Oxbow brand orchard grass right now. As well as I do have her pellets in a container, which I actually got to give her her pellets. You guys get to see a treat. She loves her pellets, and she usually like starts running it. But I do have to set the camera down just for a second. So please bear with me for a moment. That did not take long at all. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even rattle the container this time. Hi baby. And I do use a um, reef, an automatic water. I don't like water bottles because they don't um, really give, give them that much water at a time. Um, I do have a litter box set up. I do have some NIC grids holding up um, her hay rack, which is actually a bent NIC grid, and it works pretty well. Um, and then I have a ramp. Gotta give her her pellets, otherwise she's gonna like get mad at me. <laughs> I'm gonna give her about a quarter cup, actually just a little bit less than a quarter cup of pellets. And then that's like her favorite thing. Um, I do have a ramp I made. Uh, she doesn't really, like, I, she doesn't really play with toys either. She's really, really weird. <laughs> but, um, I tried getting her, like, a willow bridge, but she didn't really like it, so I ended up using it for part of, like, a ramp I made to go up to, like, the second level here. Um, it's currently, it's, it's made out of NIC grids. Um, but I have a sheet on there just to protect her from it, and then normally I have a blanket on here. Um, but right now that is currently in a Heidi house I was working on. Um, and she didn't, again, didn't really like it yet, but it's not finished. I still got to tweak it a little bit. Um, and then this was the original Heidi house I made for. There is some tape on there, but it's only in, like, the places that she's, like, never is, like, right there and then on the sign in that corner's there, but she doesn't, like, go up on the second level too much, um, but that's the, I don't know if you can see that. But I have um, a f another level here. I'm trying to hold up in the light so you can see it. She does have a thumper doll stuffed animal thing. Um, she doesn't really play with it too much. 
Um, when I first got her, she loved this little hidey house. Now she, like, is all about the tunnels and the play area. We do have a baby gate blocking off our bedroom that we just keep the bathroom door closed. Um, I have, like, a little hidey tunnel under here where she can just kind of hang out. And there is also a small dog bed back here. She got it at Walgreens for like 10 bucks. It was awesome. And it's pretty decent. It's pretty soft. It doesn't really go in there too much. Um, she was going through a nesting phase for a while because, because she's not spayed. They go through this thing called a pseudo-pregnancy, which just means um, they think they're pregnant or they just go through the phase phases of feeling pregnant if they were but they're not so she has also ripped like because they tear their hair out like from their chest <clears throat> and like their shoulders and stuff to make a nest for the babies so she did that all up in this little dog bed back here which is underneath like the ni secrets um and there was also like some hay in there too so it was kind of weird, but I do have, even though she doesn't play with them, I do have some toys in here in case she does decide to play with them. Um, I got, like, some baby keys. I got, at, like, Walgreens for, like, a few bucks. Um, then I have a Timothy grass ball that I got at PetSmart, I believe, for, I think it was, like, a couple dollars. And I also have a willow ball. Also got that at PetSmart. This is my most recent purchase. It has, like, a little rattly thing in there. I think it's just, like, a piece of wood. Um, she doesn't really play with that either. The only thing she played with, kind of, was this rattle ball. Also, I got at Walgreens. It was in the baby aisle. Um, it's the only thing she only, she kind of played with. Um, otherwise I do have, like, I have, like, a whole stack of, like, other stuff. Like, I have, like, some toilet paper rolls. Um, this was a door on the Heidi house that I'm currently working on. And she had like a hay ball thing. She kind of just chewed the hay around it and didn't really work on the inside. So it was kind of funny. And then <clears throat> this was a, obviously it was a little broom, kind of like this one. Um, That's the brush from it. And my boyfriend was cleaning up the little turds because she was, because her, her little turds were kind of like everywhere on the floor before. We do usually have another rug in here. It's currently right there. Um, but she would get territorial over them, and she like stepped on it or sat on it and kind of broke it with her butt. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's just kind of there. I kind of use it sometimes for the litter box so to keep a little of the old stuff to put in the, when I change it, which I actually got to do. It's a little messy. Um, and then I got, like, some paper bags, which I make into, um, like, little throw toys, hay toys. And then, also, I got, because she is going to be getting spayed, and they say to try to keep them warm when they're spayed. So I got her this. It's called a Snuggle Safe. It's a microwavable heating pad. It's actually got some weight to it, so it's a little bit... <laughs> difficult to hold with one hand, but it's not at the same time. Um, this is what it is. I got it off of Amazon. It was about, I want to say it was like $15, um, which was pretty, not that bad. It was on sale. Um, it is a microwave heat pad, and it provides up to 10 hours of warmth. Um, you can, the maximum microwave you can put in is like a 1500 watt one. You can see here at can use it for like cats and dogs and rabbits and stuff. And it was made in Great Britain. I don't know if you can read that. But, yeah. So, not made in America, but, you know. Then, of course, like I mentioned before, the Timothy hay that I have is also Oxbow. And then, I don't, like, I want I want to do jump agility with her. So, this is my jumps that I have. Um, one of them, one of the NS secrets is currently over there. And then, these are like my jump poles, yeah, they're kind of made out of like pieces of cardboard. And this was a digging box I made for her. It didn't really work, she didn't really dig it. That was not planned, it just kind of happened, that pun. 
Um, and then, I know it's not the best brush. I do have a slicker brush for her, but I like, because there's like not that much hair on there, I like hardly even brush her with it. I don't like, I'm very paranoid to brush her too hard with it. And I, I tried this. I got it at PetSmart. It was about $4. It's called a rubber de-shedding brush. It doesn't really, so far it doesn't really do much. Um, I don't know if it's just because she's not shedding right now or what. But then I do also have like a little box of toys. It's like a shoe box. Um, she's got like a couple, some baby cups. She's got a bunch of these little like cat ball things. Um, she's got one of these. I got this at, I think this was, was this Petco or Pet Mart? Pet Smart. I think this was Pet Smart. Um, this I think I got at Pet Co. Um, I think it was about like three dollars. Then I put like I got her some little willow apple sticks. Uh, I put them in a baggie to try to keep them fresh. I don't know if these can like not dry out their sticks, obviously. But and then I got her this little rubber ball. Um, people some some people say that rubber is not a good thing, but. Like I said, she does not really chew on anything. The only thing she'll chew on is she'll sit and just kind of chew on this. But she didn't really, she kind of started taking little pe not chunks off, but scraping a little bit off. So I stopped, I didn't want to give that to her anymore because I don't want her swallowing any. Then I have her nail clippers. I haven't had to trim them yet. Hi, baby. Because um, when I got her at the shelter about four weeks ago, about a month ago, it's a month ago on the 4th. Um, they trimmed her nails for me, so I didn't necessarily have to trim them myself. And then I also have, I got this at Petco. This was, it's a crackle ball. Um, I know about it because my boyfriend's mom has one for her Yorkie. And, and I think it, hers is green, so I want to get the blue one. And then this is just like something that came with, um, don't laugh, our inflatable couch because it has cup holders on it, which is awesome. Um, so I just kind of have it in there. I have another one in here too. She doesn't really play with that either. Just trying to think of some things that she might play with. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's her pen play area. I uh, really hope you guys like my video. Um, I do thank you for stopping by and taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, it is much appreciated. Do not forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, the links will be below in the description of the video. If you want to go ahead and check that out, feel free to do so. Again, this is Rockin' Rabbits, and this is Little Miss Lydia. Little Miss Lydia Dietz. Um, and we will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.